What's good, YouTube? It's Jay here, and we're just gonna hop be hopping right back to the action of where we left off with the previous episode. For those, so for those of you who haven't watched the most recent episode, I highly recommend doing so because we mostly cleared up we cleared up a good chunk of this Imperial fleet here, including destroying basically all of the frigates and um, other lighter vessels that they had. We definitely did take our fair share of uh, heavy losses. We lost a Mandator. Um, after reading a couple of comments from the previous video, uh, as it turns out, you cannot jump into hyperspace if you have a Star Destroyer-sized vessel out, such as uh, such as the Mandator. So that's why I couldn't jump to hyperspace yesterday. I was so fr I was freaking out and just like losing my head. I'm like, why why can't we? <laughs> why can't I retreat? But um, yeah, okay. So today we're gonna be continuing from right where we left off, pretty much of gathering enough forces to push up here it's basically just gonna be mostly heavy vessels um i might get a couple of dornian cruisers in here or frigates or whatever you want to call them. reason being is because they're always they're fairly reliable when it comes to um anti-starfighter duties so i think i'm gonna get a couple of the, a few of those queued up also the frame rate has dropped significantly ever since we started this playthrough it's just so much happening on the map now. That's a little unfortunate. Um, what do we got here? That's a Dauntless going to intersection five. I don't know why. Mission log updated. They're all taking some interesting routes to get here. Prototype. I kind of give us some MC sixties, and we've already got like three queued up. Let's see if speeding this up helps just a tiny bit, and it kind of does, despite the IPV reporting. ironic frame rate issues. Yeah, the frame rates are nutty right now. Construction Star destroyer complete. reporting in. Uh, Moving to, to be honest, I should probably move this fleet here. Our Corsair fleet is Order actually pretty plan. lacking in terms of uh, attack power. Again, these guys don't really have much though. They just have literally transports, I constant transports. So, right now, defending other territories really isn't a high priority right now, because I don't really think the Empire is going to be making any more, um, um, any more pushes, because frankly, we've just kind of beaten them off of every other possible location they can retreat to. Uh, how many of these have built up, too? All right. Yeah, we've pretty much beaten them away from every possible retreatable option at this point. I am going to build an eye I can't hear, though. Um... But yeah, I mean, they really don't have too much of anywhere else to go at this point. I do want to rally a fleet to attack here eventually. That's a lot of ships. Yeah, because Aldana's fleet isn't really that big. Standing by. Hmm. IPV reporting. It's a shame structures can't finish building when there's stuff in orbit. I would love to just be able to hit those ships with the ion cannons, honestly. I'm gonna move Rebel 1 over here. Wait, no. They have like a small... Yeah. Moving out. Small little fleet of heroes. How many tanks do we have? Are we out of T4Bs? I think we lost all of our T4Bs in that one battle. Or are they still here? Uh, 
All right, we've got three remaining T2Bs there, or T4Bs Going there. Canceled. Constructing Might as well unit. stock up on them. Uh, let me see. What do I have here, actually? Oh, just junk speeders. Yeah, so for the most part, the only issue that we'll actually have with these are the... Well, it's the sheer amount of firepower that they have, but... I'm going to move these both of these over here, too. We're not going to want to call in too many big ships, just to avoid, like... You don't want to call it. You don't want to call it an absurdly large amount of ships, just because they're bigger targets. Honestly, you want to have a flexible fleet, kind of. That's and that's kind of what I'm going for. Not just consisted of like consisting of only like frigates and stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna move, I'm gonna combine these forces. Um, you want to have your fleets capable of being just a tad bit flexible. You want you want smaller profile cruisers like the MC Wings uh, Winged Liberty classes. I can't pronounce today. The Liberty classes that I was using um, in the previous battle in numbers. You want to have a decent amount of those. You want to be able to just have a flexible fleet so when you lose one ship, you could immediately replace with like another. Like, I guess where I'm going is like the Mediators are pretty are pretty cool ships, don't get me wrong, but they take up a high amount of population and it limits the number of targets that can be focused at any given time. Like, a Mediator can only arguably focus on one ship at a time but if i have two mc wing cruisers they could focus arguably two individual targets not saying they win those battles but you know it's weird to how it's weirdo how i'm explaining it but the general principle is like you want to have a flexible fleet that you can kind of use appropriately i guess i don't know how to say it properly okay so once akbar's force Gets over here. Not Akbar, well, might as well be Akbar. The Independence class gets over here. We can uh, launch our attack. And I think we're going to make heavy use of these. Uh, technically, they're the Nebula, but we'll just call them Defender. Make some decent use out of those Defenders. Alright. Let's go for it, boys and girls. Final stand of the Empire Part 2. I'm calling it the final stand of the Empire just for these two, like, territories. I'm not really counting the Maw, because that's just... That's just been... It's all little haven. Huh, excuse me. His own little haven slash little specialized territory. I've never built a capital ship yard here. I'm gonna do that to see if it gives me any other special bonuses. I can't remember if it does or if it doesn't, but I'm gonna put that there. But um, yeah, final stand in the empire. I'm just encompassing like little territories I've got within the core and slightly in the outer rim. You know, they'll bring you. I'm not really counting them all for that. That's going to be its own special episode. Okay. Choose your reinforcements. Reinforcements canceled. Heading to destination. These things are so tiny. Can we call it? Hmm. Let's just call another winged. Consider it done. Reinforcements are three little gunships in the back. Sweet. That's a lot of starfighters, man. 
We should have a plethora of starfighters to work with this go around. I think we have way more A wings than we did last time too. Star destroyer standing by. Star destroyer reporting in. Moving to coordinates. Weapons charged. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Weapons operation. All right, now why you gotta do all that, man? Why you gotta do all that? Why can't you just slowly push up? You know why you gotta do all the looping and shenanigans? See, like like these guys. Wow, we actually do have a lot of fighters, dude. Look at all the bombers we have, dude. That's a lot. All right, let's get everybody appropriately grouped up. Okay, let's go crazy. They have literally no form of lancers. They don't have lancers to go around. This is going to make picking them off a lot easier. So the Victory 2s are configured to have ion cannons and no concussion missiles, it seems. So that's going to make our approach for the Starfighters a lot easier as well. I think this might be perfect. This might go perfectly. the actual shield generator? No, we did not. Trying to see if we can hit perfectly. There we go. Alright, fighters, come up here and help out. Please. You just stop. You just stop, buddy. Or you can do that, I guess. Move you up a little bit. There you go. See, you can do it. You can just put your mind through it. I don't know why you have to do, do all of that, but... If you're talking in the background, that is coming from outside. I apologize for that. Uh, hit that shield generator now. Easy. Okay. You just kind of hang out now. Next target is the other Star Destroyer to the left. And it's one shield generator. Is it the second one? Let's actually, let's actually get the hang of on the two. The less starfighters that we have to deal with, the better. Ooh, holy shit. Okay. Wait a minute now. Shield, all right, so the hangar bay on that is gone. Let's take out the hangar bay here. I don't want to lose a shield generator on this, but I guess we'll just deal with it. Let's 
should not do that. Yeah, that's fine. Tell me you can't move just a tiny bit? Come on, man. Alright, so that one's hangar bay is gone. I might have a K-Wing and a B-Wing group of folks on this TIE Fighter Squadron, and then switch this over to anti-fighter missiles. Shields in that guy. All craft engage. Are these all I can? Then those are turbo laser batteries. So. We've got them on scopes. It's full power and weapons on that. You hold still because you're just I don't know what this is doing. standing by. Destroyer here. And so there's just who there's two bleh, there's two starters for us to the left over here. We'll let them sit by for now. Copy. Attack commencing. All right. Now, one thing I do want to do is take out the engines on this, prevent it from retreating. Responding. Ready for orders. Let's do some damage. Reporting in. Oh shit! There's two starters over there. Okay. Right, there's way too many starfighters up here to just helping out. Yeah, let's get you guys moved up just a tad bit. They're just they're hanging back just a tiny bit too hard. Alright, so the mediator could actually take down the engines on this without issue. Yeah. Right, right, he's right on top of you. Don't worry, I'm on him. Okay, there we go. Come on, everybody, come help the fighters out. Damn, it's high fighters, dude. Oh, damn, we lost both of our Dorian gunships. Alright. Let's take out the shields on this right quick, and then let's go help out the rest of the fleet. One. I've only got TIE Fighters, so I don't think I have to worry about any bomber issues right now. Okay. Disabling the shields on these guys will at least make it easier for the fleet to hit up here to hold out, hopefully. And even then, if that meteor is just taking the actual damage, we have a sec we have a spare mediator. 
four. I'm right on top of him. Okay. So this is the one B wing squadron we've got over here. These guys can help take out some of the fighters, hopefully. Uh, hmm. Drop a little pocket cruiser over here. I don't think we'll need this guy over here. So actually, I'll have, I'll have him come up here instead. I just decommanded these guys. Is decommanded a word? Can somebody confirm that for me? Yeah, make sure those shields don't become a problem with you. Our meteor is actually taking an ass whooping right now, dude. Okay. Runs on the next shield generator. Any wings here, Commander? I don't know why they're holding the ties in reserve like that. Then follow me. Hmm. Sheesh. So many star destroyers, dude. Awaiting your command. Targeting at maximum firepower. Our mediator is getting destroyed, dude. Reporting in. Fire. Take that guy out. Yes, Commander. What the hell is this right now, dude? <laughs> this is a mess. Got to start destroying our flank, dude. Hey, 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 hey. Open fire. Can't take him out. Who's that guy? Still reinforcements. Can I get a rip? Proceeding to location. Cruiser, Running out of maneuvers. Cruiser, ah, can't see this guy. Stay tight to your wound. God damn it. All right, now come on, guys. Help out. <laughs> You're just hanging out. Check down my shields. Ready to commence. Weapons ready. Roger. Weapons charged. Weapons operational. Y Wing Squadron reporting. Form up. At least, if anything, the, a, the, a, the E Wings can stay behind and guard the Mediator from what's left of those Starfighters. A Wings need to get over here. That is not what I meant to do. Okay. Bombers regroup. Attack that. Oh, you attack. This guy. Focus on this guy. I'm gonna do something about that pretty soon. Yeah, 
put the hanger on that so we don't get more fighters out of there. Actually, yeah, we can just pulverize this one guy right now. This is a mediator is going to be terrible, honestly, because well, that's our biggest source of like heavy ready. bombers right now. Well, actually, no, we have a second. Yeah, we have a spare mediator. What am I talking about? Attack pattern beta. We're going in. Attack pattern beta. Copy. I copy. Uh. Our X wings, A wings, and. Um, should be enough over there. I'm gonna send these guys over here. Do they have proton torpedoes? As a fighter bomber roll. Okay. Yeah. Granted that a majority of our uh, of our uh, E wings have also survived. Hey, this is actually getting kind of bad over here. Does he have power to weapons? Okay. Choose your reinforcements. Moving out. I copy. Take out the iron cannons. Yes, Commander. Ready. Fire. Oh damn! They actually managed to take out one of the shield generators kind of easily. Okay. The wings here, Commander. I'm sending our bombers over here. Right to point three five. Cause our star, our, our cruisers can't do shit without these guys having to form shields. We'll get these as five. And have the rest of the main fleet. Cause yeah, they're dropping star destroyers over here now. Okay. So far, the battle's going pretty solid though. Let's just hammer that one cruiser right there. Ready for command. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Roger that. Fire at will. Form up. Mm. Awaiting orders. Attacking. I got one on me. Awaiting orders. I'm in range. Tell us if I can get a good shot on this. I love these damn TIE Fighters over here. Sheesh! Look at that. Proton torpedoes are armed That's what I like to see. What all we got? Yeah, majority of our star fighters are still just hanging around over here. Ewing's here, Commander. Standing by. That's one less headache. I copy. Guess the group of his Star Destroyers, though, this honestly doesn't surprise me. I mean, his Star Destroyers, what do you do? Yes, I think another one just jumped in the battle. Come on, you guys can take out one little squadron of TIE Fighters. Come on. Yes, Commander. Actually, this isn't a bad idea. Direct all fire on the ion commanders. Can we reporting? Ready. Open fire. 
Star Destroyer reporting in. Attacking target. Okay, let's take care of that guy now. I don't think this guy to our left is going to be as much of a. Well, actually, no. Yeah. You focus on that. You got. You focus on that. And then all of you try to take that shield generator down. There we go. Fire off those proton torpedoes, boys. There we go. All right. I'm going to send the rest of the E-Wings over there, save for uh, one squadron to take care of those TIE Fighters. How are E-Wings doing? Jamming sensors. Let's watch a cinematic of this. Target eliminated. Target destroyed. The Ewing's got over there quickly. <laughs> I like how literally the entire battle is transitioned to the upper half of the map now. are all set to iron on cannons, it's probably a bad thing. <laughs> Actually, man, you divert your attention over here for a thought, dude, that's a new star story. Oh shit, that's actually bad. I don't think. Damn it! A lot of these are gonna get away. Hmm. Weapons operational. The engines are our primary target. Ready. Damn it! A good chunk of the starter stars are gonna get away. Not all of them, though. Really? Let me shut my window. Construction complete. Okay. Okay.
Well, we finally managed to get a secured foothold of Bill Bringy. We didn't take nearly as many losses as we could have. Them starting their retreat mid-battle is actually helpful. Only problem is that's going to bolster this fleet. Like, aggressively bolster that fleet. So... We all know what we have to do. We all know the mission. And y'all know for a fact that we should probably split a few of these ships up and bolster surrounding territories where that fleet's going to be retreating to. Moving to coordinates. I don't know how many Star Destroyers survived. I don't even remember how many were left prior to the battle. Construction complete. I think I'm going to get this attack force in position to begin the attack on Udamar. Okay. Only four. We reduced that fleet of 21 Star Destroyers down to four. That's actually amazing, dude. Oh my goodness. Why did I ever went into that? Construction complete. Order okay. All righty. Yep, the entire crew is here. I wonder if I'll ever get a rescue mission for all the droids. Hmm. I hope so. I hope it isn't like the Maw. <laughs> Mon Calamari crews are ready. Let's uh, just move you up here. And the amount of losses we took in comparison were unreal, dude. Frigate standing by. Hmm. Invasion commencing. Let's give it a try. The fuck? Oh. Choose your reinforcements. Order acknowledged. Only you could be so bold. Transmission received. Loud and clear. We're just filling this with replaceable received. units. Loud right and now. clear. What's on your mind? Take cover! You guys want to help me out here? You can distract him for us. We've secured a build. Choose Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah. Who's this? Darth Vader, come. See you in hell. Oh, shit. He actually just killed both. He just killed everybody. What the fuck? This is bad. That was terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Wow. 
All right, well, they Han, Han and Chewie die literally the moment they touch the ground. Um, Aurelia produces only the finest. All right. Breaking this planet is going to be a pain, dude. Alright, I think we'll save that for another episode, though, because we already spent 35 minutes attacking uh, Bill Brinky. Alright, guys, so in the next episode, um, we'll finalize our last part of the last end of the Empire and attack an Axis and take it over and crush all the resisting forces. Hopefully praying that no survivors retreat to the mall. But, um, yep. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one. May the Force be with you all. Peace.